Hi guys. Um, I have not changed and it is not the next day and I am honestly just have not moved since I recorded the last video because the last one was all about loving yourself and if people don't love you then they're not worth your time. So on that note, I don't know why, but it reminded me, I'm now trying Tinder, which on one hand is great and on one hand is a terrible mistake, but I, I'm now, like, I can't get off of it. So I wanted to talk about whether or not, A, whether or not you should put your disability out on dating websites and if it's worth it. And B, what to say when people say ridiculous things to you on Tinder. Okay, first story of the day. <clears throat> also, still sick since it's the same day as my last video. I am still dying. It has been a week and like a month and a week now, I think. So, story time. I date men and women, so I have my Tinder settings set to both men and women. And honestly, guys, guys, like not, guys, you know, people that identify as males typically are the ones that I have problems with on Tinder. Um, and not, not to say that I haven't met some great guys on Tinder. I have. I personally chose to put my disability out square in my bio. Hey, I think my bio says something like, I get to bring my dog everywhere I go and I get front row parking. Also, I have disability. And then I go on to talk about the actual important stuff in my life, which is about a sentence. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so... People know right away. First words they read. I have a disability. Boop. We're done. Um, I had a guy message me on Tinder. You will not believe this. Oh my god. You are just so inspiring. Well, first he said, you're pretty. I hope I didn't offend you with your disability. But I'm like, Everyone likes to be called pretty. Literally everyone. I mean, everyone likes to be called pretty. And so, I was like, trust me, you probably won't offend me. The next thing he says is the thing that, like, sets my, like, pushes all of my buttons. Is like the stupid, you're so inspiring. And I was like, I we I wrote a message that's probably this long <clears throat> to this guy and it was like you honestly just pushed every button that you could have. I do not think that I am inspiring at all. I put on my pants every day and I do what I need to do. I go to work, I go to school, I get my life done and I don't do anything different than any able-bodied person. Except for I might do it a little bit differently. And I'm fine with that. Like, I am perfectly happy with my disability. I I used to struggle. People used to ask me, well, if you could get rid of it, would you? I would get rid of the hurt and the pain that it's caused me and my family, both internal and, you know, mental and stress and all that crap. But I would not get rid of the opportunities that it has given me and the, like, I've met amazing people and I've had amazing experiences because of my disability. Not to say, like, milk your disability for everything, but, like, I've had great experiences and I've met great people and I wouldn't change that. And if I have to suffer with something, I... I'm willing to for the experiences that I have. Not to say that this will not change in the future. I might really hate myself for saying that one day. <clears throat> but 
but at this point I'm very happy with where I'm at. But that does not mean that I am an inspiration. I am not any better than anybody else for having a disability. I, <clears throat> I told him, if I climbed a mountain, that is more inspiring than me just living my life. And I kind of live my life shittily. Like, I'm currently not in college. Like, I tried to transfer. My life got blown up because I my school closed. Like, that's not playing my cards very good. And sometimes I don't eat very well. That's not very good. Sometimes I just, you know, I'm a teenage, well, I'm 20. I'm an adult, but I'm, like, still figuring it out, you know? I'm not doing a very good job of living my life right now. I'm living with my parents, working as a receptionist. I'm not an inspiration. Hi, I'm Stephanie. How can I help you? Like, that's not inspiration material. Like, <laughs> you're not going to put a picture of me being, like, on the phone on one of those posters. You know, you know the posters. Um... <clears throat> So first she said that, and I, yeah, and then he said, well, I would take away your disability if I could, and I'm like, screw you, I love myself, I'm very happy with myself, I don't even know who the hell you are, I met you on Tinder, like, don't, weird, and then he was like, I'm so sorry that this happened to you, I'll pray for you, and I was like, No. Bye. You are a mess. You aren't getting the picture. I sent him so many long messages and detailing why he was, what he was saying was offensive and not very nice. And like, you know, the stories that you read or the movies about like people with disabilities, it's always, the end is always great because the person that was blind found this magical surgery and now they can see or this person that was paralyzed found this magical like regeneration of their spine and now they can walk and now they're all better so that's obviously better than them having a disability and that I hate that so much like just why could there never be a story about somebody that has a disability that's very happy with their disability doesn't need to be cured, doesn't need God to step in, doesn't, like, is just happy with where they are. Like, I am very happy with where I'm at. I currently don't want anything in my life to change. I'm very content. Would I like to be at school? Yes. Would I like to do this? Yes. Would I like to already be in my career? Yes. So those things could change, like, if somebody's listening. But, like, I don't want to get rid of my disability. Like, and I don't want some guy on Tinder to try to cure me. <laughs> Back off, buddy. So I unmatched him. And But yeah, that was my story on Tinder. Some guys are absolutely great. They simply ask me what my disability is. I tell them, we all move on. Some people say, you can't. one guy said, you handle your disability with grace. And I said, thank you. Like that, good. I'm happy with that. You handle your disability and you are so inspired. Fuck off. Sorry for swearing, but it just bothers me a lot because I am not inspiration material. So, that is my rant about life and dating and all those things. Yeah. <laughs>